Hey everyone, welcome to another Impact Report, the weekly HGA Impact Report. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Real quick house cleaning stuff. If you're getting anything out of these weekly reports or any of our podcasts or any of our webinars or any of our content in general, do me a favor, just share it with someone in your network, another nonprofit professional. We understand y'all are so busy, probably a little overworked, maybe a little underpaid, and you just need some help and some fundraising tips and some just clever fundraising ideas and we're here for you. So please share this, download, rate, review, subscribe, all the above. So thankful that you all are tuning in another week here. We had an, uh, an awesome Labor Day weekend. Hope everyone had a great holiday. We're definitely getting to the full swing of fall events. We were already pretty busy before the holiday. Gave us a chance to breathe. I happened to jump into a triathlon with some friends over the weekend. Oddly enough, got cajoled into doing that, but super fun. Got to spend some time with the family and I hope everyone had a great and restful, safe holiday weekend. Here we go with business. Some aha stuff that we noticed this week and, and just being good arbiters of information and paying attention. One one of the greatest things that I've heard in a long time and not surprising came from my partner and best friend, one of the most prolific, if not the most prolific fundraising mind I've ever met, Jason Ledlow. We were doing a podcast recently and he said, you know, have you ever thought, you know, it's difficult to ask for money. We're always talking about that. We're always talking about how difficult it is to pick up the phone and ask someone for money. And just that job is this hard. And the even the people that are great at it, they still get nervous. I always say nerves are good because it just means that you care, but overachievers in the space still get very, very nervous and still have a lot of trepidation. And he offered up something that was so interesting to me and something that we're going to continue to speak to and on and, and definitely nudge people and encourage people and coach people up on this is, you know, instead of asking for money, think about it this way. And it, this term gets thrown around a lot or phrases like it's a pair. It was a paradigm shift for me mentally, where he said, instead of asking invite the donor or supporter or major giver, invite them to participate. Because we always talk about making your mission and making that the focus. It's always about what we've done, what we're doing, what we're going to do, how much money we need, why we need it, you know, for instance, but instead of asking for money, inviting a major giver, supporter, donor to participate in the work that your mission is doing. And I just, it was amazing and it had to be shared. So we're going to continue to share it, sharing it right now. I hope everyone gets something out of that. So another thing that we, that we talk about ad nauseum, but for good reason, and we're not going to stop by the way. So just hang in there is sponsorships and underwriting and how impactful sponsorships and underwriting and raising money pre event dollars for your event. You're planning one, you know, for the fall, you're planning one for next spring, for instance, how, how important it is to get really great at sponsorships and underwriting and not be afraid to ask and ask for more. And if you need any help understanding what that is, and a lot of folks actually are really, really great at it. A lot of folks have never really heard of it either. So if you haven't heard of sponsorship or underwriting, or maybe gone down the rabbit hole of underwriting opportunities and how to present those to folks that you want coming to your event, schedule a free coaching session with us. There's, it's completely free, no strings attached. You don't have to hear about our items or anything like that, but we can help. Maybe we can just shed some light or give you a few really awesome ideas that will help and equate into more dollars for your organization just by having the conversation and educating and coaching about sponsorships and underwriting. One really awesome thing, another team member, Matt Ashley said this last week when we were all together was, you know, when you're talking to someone about underwriting, maybe they're a bank or a corporation locally or just a company that, you know, wants to support, you know, a lot of times when you ask them to underwrite things like your AV system, like your check-in and check-out, your software, or maybe even like something like our golden ticket opportunity where you can raise $10,000, for instance. When you're asking and inviting folks to underwrite things and fix cost items for your event, you're not tapping into any just any budget. A lot of times you're actually tapping into their marketing budget because they're going to be able to, the, your organization's going to be able to market and advertise that company, that bank, with your program, your social posts, the day of, because they're gonna get the shine, so to speak, and the signage that they're the ones that presented the check-in, check-out. 
the red carpet, the background for the photographs, the golden ticket opportunity presented by company XYZ or bank ABC, for instance. So you're tapping into, it was a kind of another aha thing that we had to share. You're tapping into their marketing budget. So think about that the next time you're talking to an organization or a foundation or a major donor supporter that's interested in sponsoring or underwriting certain fixed cost items at your next event. Once again, any questions about this, go to hjfundraising.com, click on the free coaching bu button, and we'll schedule a half hour with you. If it takes more time, fantastic. But we're here to help, because once again, we know that you're you know, stressed. These events are difficult. It's difficult to ask for money. We know that you're overworked, and it's not easy to raise money, so we're here to help. So that's the impact report for this week. Everybody go out there, go get them. We know you're in full fall swing. You got a lot of irons in the fire, so to speak, and uh, we wish you nothing but the best. So thanks so much for tuning in. Happy fundraising.